YouTube, what's up guys? Uh, so yesterday, ironically enough, I did a vlog episode about a revived skateboard being strong, and I was not meaning to do this immediately after, but I am. I'm doing an eBay skateboard a strength test. I had a terrible experience when I was younger. I got some eBay skateboards. It was a dark time in life. I try to support skate shops. I try to support real board companies. Of course, now that I own my own company, I'm gonna skate my boards, but I used to skate local brands, and there was a dark time in my life that I was broke, and I, and I tried eBay skateboards, and it was terrible. So I got a $15 skateboard, and I'm gonna put it together and we're gonna see how long it lasts today. I don't know who, what the maker was, but I broke one of these on a flat ground kickflip. That's not normal. <laughs> I broke three in one day. One of it was like a three flip done a huge double set, so. Either way, let's put this together and we'll just test it out. See if it breaks, see if it doesn't, we'll see. FYI, skateboards should not, if you're gonna ship a skateboard, put it in a box. It came like this to my doorstep, isn't that crazy? <laughs> if you go into public and open a package like that, Girls will pay attention to you. Might not be in a good way, but they'll pay attention. What is that? Oh, I got a note. Warning, this skateboard is not meant for skating. <laughs> Seriously? No. <laughs> Take a red board. And it's yeah, it was, it was a funny way. <laughs> I, I like what I like. This is some concavey thing happening. This is 8.25. I ordered an eight. You guys want to see this? Nope. I totally ordered an 8.25. I screwed up. That sucks. It might be stronger that way, though. I could literally, like a chef, grip a skateboard. It's done. It's heavy. It's a heavy board, dude. Is it? That's heavy, noticeably like, heavier. Yeah, seriously. Let me hold that one. I don't know. Probably bad. <laughs> Brian. Way heavier. Yeah. Right. What is it? It's, it's like an eBay, eBay skateboard for 15 bucks. Just stay up late watching uh, n wildlife documentaries. I enjoyed it. I'd also like to thank Johnny Geiger for leaving his setup here in Cincinnati because I'm using your trucks and wheels. This board is about put together. I hope I don't suck at it just from the fact that it's heavy in an 8.25. All right, are we ready to skate this? Are you ready to skate this? Dude, it this feels thing. like an anvil. Can we put a sticker on it? We should put a sticker on it. Not a bad graphic. Here we go, there's my graphic. It's gonna break and that's gonna hold it together. Let's go test this out. So heavy. All right, I'm gonna see if I can break this, okay? Do you think I, I can? I, I could. You could? Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do some basic tricks on it. Brian Ames is gonna hang out for a second. I'm gonna do a kickflip test. It's so heavy. It's heavy. It's John. If you're aware. Doug cold board. If you want Doug's. Anybody want Doug's board? Remember that time that Doug lost the, lost the skateboard and was just in my office? The best front end nose you'll ever see on a box this high. Fact. Sure. All right, Mr. Tail Slide Tuesday. Tail Slide Tuesday. Dude, it's skating in an anvil. It kind of, it kind of feels like you're skating a monster truck of skateboards. Although, I mean, it feels strong. I'm gonna take it to the stairs. Back side 180 time. I feel like it's got a lot of like, like the glue. It's just like a subpar glue, like a very heavy glue. Hey! Like swerved directly into me. That was, I'm gonna, I'll do that again. That was super weird. Flipping the stairs, that's where it's gonna break if it's gonna break. I don't know, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna rock. It's gonna fall like a rock, but it's gonna flip and not break. It's gonna be really hard to kick flip. It's gonna, be, it's gonna act exactly like a rock. <laughs> God, she stuck it so many times. Going into that must have been just insane. That was hands down the hardest kickflip I've ever done in my life. I, I don't know if it's an 825 and I just can't skate those or the board's too heavy, but this board is very hard to control and scary. When I was skating it, it felt like I should apply what I was skating. I'm gonna go to the flat bar. <laughs> Hopefully not have that much trouble on something. I don't know if you can see, there are a few stress 
marks. Uh, not necessarily a crack, but it just looks like it's like, you see what I'm talking yeah. about? It looks like there's a crack somewhere in the middle of the board. But uh, it's holding up way better because some of those kickflips were terrible. Wow, one lip slide and it cracked. It's just a little bit. Lip slides. Yeah, it's just like, oh, it's two. It's two plies. It takes every ounce of energy to get this thing up in the air and three flipping. Oh! It didn't even feel bad. Wow. Oh, wow. I didn't feel that at all. I didn't hear it. It sucks. I probably won't be able to take another one of those. I'm gonna keep lip sliding until it's a hit, cracks into two. I was ready for that and that was terrifying. Let's go sit down. This is not safe. Because I was, my confidence was up on the strength of the skateboard. Even with it cracking, like even when I saw the very small cracks, the whole time it felt strong. And then at the end, it literally was night and day just done. Like it didn't even like stick together. It was just, whew. my gonads could have ended up on that rail right there. If I wasn't going fast, look at this, no, if I wasn't going fast, my feet would have been on top and it would have, my gonads would have just came right down on top of the rail. Well, yeah, the rail wasn't six inches on the ground, but yes. It, it, that's the, the scariest part of this is that at any time, it probably could have done that, and it, it's very unsafe. In fact, when I was skating the stairs and I was trying to kick flip, I felt like I was learning how to skateboard for the first time. It was one of the scarier videos I've ever filmed. Uh, but there you guys go. Um, go to an actual skate shop and get a real skateboard from a real company. Um, if you don't have a local skate shop, we have an online skate shop, thestreadquarters.com. Um, the link's right down there and it's on the screen right now. But uh, if you have a local shop, of course, just ask them to carry. Our, we, have a, we have a board brand, so of course we're going to push that. And if, um, if you have a local shop and they don't carry them, just ask them to carry them. Sure. Or support your shop. Don't do lip slides to your gonads. You're a sweaty guy. I'm so sweaty, dude. I've been sweating a lot recently. Wow. It's like it's summer or something. I know, right? Thank you guys for watching, though. Um, if you guys like this, I'll try to come up with more stuff to break and danger myself. Um, uh, but that's it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. It's right down there. Hit the button. Easy, free, and you get to see more. Um, but I'm done. I'm gonna go eat some hot sauce on his channel. I always say that. That's how all my videos end. I'm gonna go eat something hot because that's what Brian makes me do. I'm gonna change my shirt too, just to be honest with you guys. YouTube. Someone. You just got the bonus clip, Chambers. All right. You actually sold one of those? Just one. That's just the grab. That's why I spoke up. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. That's good though. Thanks. What's his name? Uh, her or her? Alexandra. Alexandra. Wow, that was a curveball. Yeah, thank you, Alexandra. That doesn't have a last name. <laughs>